Hi guys, Ashling here from Ash Cook Slow Carb. This week I'm doing a meat recipe. Um, we're gonna be using shoulder of lamb. Uh, it's actually cut into chunks already for us, so that's pretty good. I think you can go into any butcher and just ask them to do that for you. Um, I'm gonna be making a casserole and then a cauliflower hash. The cauliflower hash you can actually have, it's really good at breakfast with like fried eggs, so something that you can have any time of the day. It's kind of more of a substitute for potatoes in this recipe. Uh, the ingredients and the instructions are below, so let's get started. So today I'm going to be making a lamb casserole and we're going to have all these ingredients in it. And I'm also going to make a cauliflower, this is our cauliflower hash. So instead of serving it with potatoes, which you would normally do, I'm going to have it with um, a different kind of cauliflower. Here's my casserole dish and I'm just going to start frying off the meat first and then I'll show you how to set it all up. So in here I have some olive oil and some butter. I'm just going to let that heat up and then I have the meat already prepared so I've put the salt and pepper on it and then we're going to fry it off. So I'll just show you that. So I'm just going to add in the lamb. Basically you just kind of want to brown it before we put it into the casserole dish. Just to make sure it's all evenly browned. Because it's going to cook for like ages in the oven. So don't worry too much about it being perfectly cooked in the middle. We just want to get a nice kind of outside colour. Remember you can have this with any veggies that you want. So I'm having it with leeks, um, celery and a few carrots, some onions, some garlic, herbs like rosemary, thyme, and we're going to throw a bay leaf in as well. If you want to add, if it's your cheat day, you want to add some potatoes. It's up to you. Just gonna make sure it's all nice and browned off. So now that the majority of the lamb has been browned off, we're going to add it to the casserole dish with the veggies, stock, a glass of red wine, and some tomato puree. Uh, we're also going to add our herbs in here as well and yeah so we'll, we'll do that now. Uh, halfway through we're going to add some of the beans just for like an extra bit of protein and a kind of new element. So once it's halfway through I'll show you what it all looks like. So here's what it all looks like before it goes into the oven. You will need a cover to put on top of your dish. I am improvising this week with tin foil. Um, my oven's preheated to 180 and I'm going to pop it in um, for about an hour. I'm going to check it over halfway through to add the beans. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like then. So here it is half an hour in. I've just added the beans and some butter. I'm going to put it back in the oven for another half an hour and then I'll show you what it looks like. While that's cooking we're going to make a start on the cauliflower hash. So we have some olive oil in a pan on a medium to high heat and we're gonna start um, putting our cauliflower in with some of the onions in like an even layer. So I think because I've made so much cauliflower because that's what I do, just make too much food, I am going to do two separate portions um, so I'll do it in a little batch but if you've got like a bigger pan or if you could have two pans on the go even. Um, you could do that, it's up to you. So just adding the onions now. Just one shallot actually that I've chopped up, so. And we're not gonna stir. We're just gonna leave it sit there until it gets kind of goldeny. 
you guys like, probably know I love garlic. So I'm just going to add some garlic to It's all nice and even, and we're just going to let that cook for a few minutes. Okay, so I think that's starting to go kind of golden on the bottom. So we'll give it a bit of a stir. Leave it for two or three more minutes. Mine hasn't turned golden yet, so I'm just going to leave it for another few minutes. Once it goes a bit golden, we're going to add uh, the paprika, salt, pepper, and then just um, a little bit of water, and then we're going to cover it and let it cook for another few minutes, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So now that it's got a little bit of colour, I'm just adding the paprika. I like a bit of the pizza, to be honest. Gonna add some ground pepper, just a pinch. And then I'm gonna add some sea salt. And then you just need a little bit of water. It actually smells like really good. Just one more. We're just adding our two spoons. And we're just going to cover that again. I don't have any covers for any of my pots. So I'm just going to cover that with a plate. And you just let it cook for about two minutes. Don't let it go over. You want it to be so that the cauliflower is still quite um, al dente, not mushy. So. And then after a few minutes, this is what you get. If you genuinely wish that you could smell my kitchen right now, it smells amazing. And we're going to have this, I'm going to do another batch, and then we're going to have this with the lamb. And there you have it, lamb casserole with a cauliflower hash. I hope you all enjoy. So there you have it, lamb casserole with a cauliflower hash. It's one of the longest recipes I've done because it takes quite a bit of time to cook um, but in the end it is worth it and it's kind of a dish that you can have throughout the week as well as you know serving it up on a big uh, Sunday roast kind of day so let me know what you think in the comments below also if you have any questions or need any additional tips and tricks um, I'm going to be putting a blog out on Wednesday this week so you can see how my journey is going. Let me know how your journey is going. I love um, hearing your stories, it's like super inspirational. If you do like my videos, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and like my Facebook page. Only six days, cheat day.